Celebrity true. Keeping it real. Or false. Your first on-screen credit was John Mark on the TV series Living Single in 1995. Is that true or false? My first on t TV credit? Yeah. Uh, it's true, but not my first, so it's false. Okay, so what was your first? Young and the Restless. Young Malcolm and the Restless was first That was one. my first professional debut as a professional actor. Okay, so then Living Single, what was it like being on that? I, you know what? I was, I, it was fun, and that was, it's a great show. And it was a great group of people, but I had never done comedy, mm -hmm. so it was so out of my co comfort zone. So, and my acting coach, who's still my acting coach to this day, mm -hmm. I called him in between rehearsals, and I was like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know because I, I wasn't quite secure with comedic timing and all that. Yes. And they had me play. You know, I was the good-looking guy who was coming to woo one of the actresses and take her on a date, and you know, and it, it was. It was so. It was fun, but I was still very early in my career, it, and and I was comfortable at Young and the Restless because that became my comfort zone. I knew everybody, but now I was around a new group of people that were all about comedy. So it it really scared the mess out of me, and okay. uh, so I had to just get through it. But it inspired me. I was like, okay, that was scary, but so now I know what I need to work on. So now now you know I'm a big silly dude. If it, my fans who watch me on my social media, I'm you know I'm nobody stand up comedian. I'm not Kevin Hart, Jamie Foxx. I mean that's those guys dance to a different drum. But uh, you know I've come a long way as far as what I know how to do. So if go. I got a chance to do a living single S type show, I'd be right there. You right do now. it once again. Yeah. Next one up. Your nickname in high school was Curls for Girls. Is that a true story? I used to say I got the curls for the girls. Uh, yeah. The and uh, no, I had a bunch of nicknames. My name is Shamar. So I, I challenge people to come up with a nickname that I haven't had. And so I've had right now my homies call me Sham. They're like, what up, Big Sham? Mm -hmm. But I've been Sham. I've been Sham Rock. I've been Sham Ron. Shemmy Shemmy Cocoa Puffs. Uh, <laughs> Shlemiel Shlamazel. Um, uh, Sham Boogie, the picture you showed me, yeah, playing, yeah, baby, really playing, cool. playing, went. So it was, uh, it was the Jerry Curl. So Jerry you curls. go to Long's Drugs, mm -hmm. and, you know, because I had that, you know, I cut it into the shag. Basically, yeah. basically, basically, it's the black guy's version of the white guy's mullet. All right, so I had I had the hair, and you go to Long's Drugs, and you get this yellow and red bottle of what's called Curl Activator. You goop that up yes. and put that in put that in your the hair. Activator, and, sure. Right, and then like Soul Glow from Eddie Murphy so, movies. That's right, exactly. Soul glow. Yeah. Soul glow. And so I used to walk around going, yeah, see, you see it. I got the curls for the girls. And Last um, one for you here. You were the presenter when Susan Lucci finally won her daytime Emmy. After very true, at very it. true, and I almost cussed on national television <laughs> because I was, on, I was on the red carpet doing interviews, and everybody was like, so is the streak going to be over? Is, is, how, do you, how do you feel about her streak? Because she had been nominated mm -hmm. like, I don't know, 19 times or yeah. something and never won. So I kept hearing about the streak, hearing about the streak. And I knew I was doing that category. And I did a couple interviews. Then we go inside and I'm sitting down there. Like, OK, Mr. Moore, we need you backstage because you got to do your category. And nobody thought she was going to win. It was just because she hadn't won, right? Yeah. Not because she didn't deserve it. She just hasn't won. And so I get out there and, you know, they, they give you the card and I didn't know. And so I'm like, you know, I'm reading the teleprompter and so then it's time to open. And the winner is, and I literally flipped the card and there was a favorite. There was another woman who was, we thought was going to win. You and almost I flipped said the that card. name? And I know. I almost, I went, almost went, holy. Mm. And, then, and I think I was, and then, and then I just caught myself and went, the streak is over, Susan Lucci. And the place went nuts. And I think she got like a three and a half minute standing ovation That's while great. she walked up. And so you almost had your own La La Land. Yeah, a little saying. bit, a little bit. <laughs> you can't have that. Uh, hey, congrats on season two of SWAT. Looks Thank like you, you're man. having a blast doing it. Yeah, it's a good time. It's a good time. Check us out. Yeah, check you out. Uh, Thursday nights on CBS, the man who plays Hondo Harrelson himself for the... Uh, TV audience, stay right there because this man apparently does his own 40-yard dash running when, it, when the chips are down. That's coming up next here. Shamar Moore, thanks for coming on. Thanks, man. Follow him at, sh at Shamar Moore on Twitter. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.